When you did retire, and when you uh -huh. retired in the ring, that was the most honest retirement speech I've ever heard a boxer give ever. You're just like I don't, I don't have this in me anymore. No, this wasn't there anymore. Just, just um, that was pretty bizarre for myself, even you know, because this is what I based my life on doing. I, used, when I first started doing, it, I said I'm gonna dedicate my life to this stuff. And just to see that it's not even, um, it's no longer gonna happen was pretty weird. When did you know that you didn't want to do it anymore? Oh, I've known years before that, but I was still being very successful. Yeah, like when, you know? like what year? Like, do you remember around when no, you started I thinking it? I don't remember. Probably around what the two thousand area. So by the time th that's post Holyfield, <laughs> yeah, after Holyfield, yeah. and you were just you had done too much. I was just winning them, just yeah. winning, beating guys. You know, guys get hit or something, and some guys be so scared. Yeah. What did What did you have in mind? Like that's the hardest thing, right? To to swing from that to the next thing. Like, how do you take? How do you take this crazy, exciting life? I don't know. I just decided, listen, let me just get high for a while and figure this out. That was the plan? Yeah. <laughs> let me party for a while and figure this stuff out. What did you figure out? Um, that I, I wanted to do other things. So I started, my wife um, arranged for me to be this desbian on stage. That the, the, she pr created the live yeah, show? Yeah, yeah. That's a brilliant idea. Because you're also the first fighter that ever did that. Because many fighters have great stories, but very few of them have ever. I don't think anybody besides you has ever put it into we, a we went theatrical all the thing. We did a, man, it's just amazing. We did a Monaco. We did a Rome. We did a um, a, 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 a amount of various places, and uh, I just can't believe that people want to see that stuff. Well, like I said, the documentary was amazing. So people wanted to hear the live version of you talking about it and to see you live in person. Because the first time we did it. Um, the first time we did it um, on Broadway, that is, right? We were really sh not sh uh, sure about how it was going to turn out. So we invited all of our friends. We had tickets and gave all to our friends and people we love, like neighbors, and we brought them to the show. And so when we started, they started laughing. Everybody started laughing. So I ran to my right wife. I ran off to I said, baby, what's going on? Is everything okay? You know, I, I, I didn't want the show to be a f comedy. It turned out right. to be a comedy. It was supposed <laughs> to be a hard, gritty show about a tough guy right. that made it through his toughness. And it just came up about me just talking about myself, how much a smuck I am. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 and they loved it. Well, I think that was part uh, of it. It's because like they all, everybody knew you were this tough guy, but they didn't know that you could be so self-deprecating and have so much fun with it all. You know, that's why people loved it. Cause yeah, you, we're, we're shooting, we're, um, they're doing the writing for my, my, my movie and stuff. I haven't seen it anything, but it's going to be pretty wild. Who's playing you in a movie? I don't know. There's been various people, but you know, most likely you want Jamie Brown, Jamie, um, Jamie Fox. Fox to do it. He could do it. He, he is, could do anything. He could do anything. Anything. Right? That guy could be the fucking president of the United States. He could be a pilot that goes to the moon. He could do whatever the oh, fuck he, he wants. I want him to do it, yeah. He could do whatever he wants. Want He'll probably it. bulk up like crazy, too, to do it. That's going to be really wild. Yeah. Jamie could pull it off. Michael Jai White pulled it off. Huh? Michael Jai White. He can't do it like Jamie, I don't think. I don't know. I thought he didn't do a bad guy. A lot of people didn't did, like what he did, did, but I thought he did a good did, job. I think he did a good job. He, I loved him in Spawn. He's a great guy. Do you know him well? No. He's a great guy. Great guy. Very smart guy. Very humble guy. Really, really intelligent. And a great martial artist, too. Michael Jai White. There's a Kilkushin uh, karate black belt. It's bad. So did, he fight, did he fight in the UFC? No. When he was fighting, there was no UFC around, but oh. he did a lot of karate tournaments and stuff. He's very good. I watched him train before. He's legit. Very legit. But like I said, real, real good guy. But yeah, I agree. Jamie Foxx, man. Jamie Foxx is on another planet. He's just got this level of competence and skill and artistry in his singing, in his comedy, in his acting. He could do anything. He could play you. Is he going to hang out with you for a while? I don't know what he's going to do. He's got to. He's got to hang out with you. It's pretty awesome. He's got to hang out with you. Got to absorb it, right? Yeah, let's see how that works out. Are you going to be like his consultant? Are you going to be like, bitch, I would have never said that. I would like to say that, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to be a consultant. <laughs> but, for, but for some reason, they just, um, they have their Hollywood ways of doing things. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? They make it come out Hollywoodish, I guess. Yeah. Because some things that, um, it's, just, it's just really wild how they, they try to switch it to appear um, presentable. Right. Yeah, they try to change the story. And know what else I realized too? When Hollywood perspective, some things are real. It just 
is just still unbelievable. Yeah, some by itself. The, yeah, something yeah. that really is unbelievable. 